so we have Taurus, Sun, Moon, and as well rising. A uh, general monthly tarot reading for February 2020 on our hands, guys. And uh, before we start with the reading, uh, in case you want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, uh, you can check out uh, the description down below of this video and there you are going to find a, a link to my website. So that set aside, uh, we are having a eight card spread on our hands as well. And the very first card, which stands as the topic of your month here, that will be the world card, followed by the next one, which is uh, representing the energies supporting uh, the topic itself. That will be the King of Cups, and we are off a, a very, very good start at, um, at the reading here, and obviously a very good month for you, Taurus. Now, the next one is going to be in regards to the challenges that you will have to overcome here. That is to be the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the fourth card representing the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the month. That will be the Knight of Wands. The fifth card that we have, it is how people are going to see you. No surprise here, we have the Sun card. This is how you stand, how you interact with the rest of the world, you know, and uh, in generally uh, the uh, attitude to, uh, from your co-workers, for example, from your beloved ones, uh, we do have the Sun card at that position. Next one, uh, it is uh, what is going to contribute for your wellness, okay? What is going to improve your circumstances, that will be the seven of wands, followed by the next one, which is what is going to deteriorate your circumstances. Obviously, you know, you lean toward the seven of wands instead of to the three of wands. And that way you are going to improve instead of deteriorate your uh, circumstances, your situation here. So three of wands, it is the bad card here into that reading, followed by the last one that it is um, the guidance that Saro is offering to you, uh, Taurus, we have the Temperance card. A very interesting read, by the way. So <clears throat> what we have on our hands here as the cumulative, you know, outlook of the month here is signified by those two cards. So we do have the world with the um, King of Cups. And King of Cups as the energies which are supporting the world, it does point that those energies are going to set you in peace. What I mean, it is that uh, it is highly unlikely that you are going to feel any kind of pressure whatsoever from the exterior situations, you know, circumstances, projects, or um, kind of like an ultimatums, if you will, from uh, your beloved one, or uh, in generally from people around. And uh, <clears throat> These energies are going to contribute so much to your wellness here because the world as a situation or as a topic of the month points that you are going to reach a wellness, a peak of experience, if you will, where you sort out a things, endeavors or an enterprises, you basically finalize them successfully, which you have worked for a long time because the world is the end of a long term journey and you are ending that journey but that doesn't mean that your life is ending with it no just on the contrary through the successful ending of your endeavors say a, a very important project say you know a relationship you wanted to uh, grasp upon okay because ending does not mean literally ending it could be you know that you have, are ending the stage the very successful ending of a stage of mesmerizing someone and starting a relationship with them that could be as well the world card okay so you take it that way, that the journey that took a lot of effort, a lot of toils, a lot of, uh, um, how can I say it, slug as well, it is finally over or it is about to end successfully. And from there, you are to start planning your next journey. And those energies are giving to you the benefit of finalizing this journey of yours, this successful journey of yours in a very, very good terms. Because once again, those energies are going to keep you emotionally satisfied. That is the best thing here. And you're not going to feel pressured from anything around, which will allow you to um, take decisions in their absimum, uh, up, uh, absolute finest. Okay, so there won't be a decision 
that you are going to make and you're going to regret about it because you're going to know that that is the best way how you can approach a situation and it is the best way how you're going to approach any kind of situation for that matter throughout the months of February for you. With those cards I could see an exceptional working performance and as well an exceptional personal performance into one's um, relationship or should you chase someone or you want to be with someone that it does look like is to be the month where you are going to make severe if not the ultimate progress into uh, that direction. So that leads us to uh, the next card, which points to the challenges here, guys. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Challenging wise, this is where, uh, as we said, that you're not going to feel pressured. OK, some of you Taurus may fall into slumber by it. You know, when you're not feeling pressured to do something, you might kind of like postpone it and delay it um, to a point where it is futile to do it from now on or any longer. So that is the the whole challenge here for you guys to kind of like identify how much time you have to stall, to delay or say it that way to contemplate on what kind of an actions or what kind of decisions you're going to incorporate either career wise or either relationship that is. Now, in not in any case, this card is urges you to kind of rush the things through. Just on the contrary, you know, you have the luxury here to think of carefully how to approach your beloved one, for example, how to approach the project you're working at with the most efficient manner. But as soon as you identify that way, you should do something about it instead of just, you know, kind of letting it go or, or, or stalling upon it as much as you can. And finally, the Seven of Pentacles as a card of challenge, it does point to, um, it's kind of uh, difficult to, to describe it. So because you're going to have the month uh, in a very peaceful and very productive manner, okay, Seven of Pentacles points that there are to be as well additional, I would say, endeavors or an enterprises, I don't want to say challenges, uh, that are around any corner really and uh, you may not feel like um, not obliged but like into it of taking them and it is not like this is going to severely impact in a negative way your life but at some point one should take what one can get and if you can get those enterprises that are around corners uh, as you are moving forward why should you not all right, so it's it's about maximizing, you know, um, your your efficiency here, career wise and relationship wise as well. But again, it is an important thing to uh, deliberate upon the most efficient way how you can approach your boss asking them for a raise once again, how you can approach that project, how you can approach as well your marriage or your future partner and so on and so forth. By any case, do not rush it, but also do not bail one if I may express myself that way or you don't don't postpone it for the month of um, for the month of March next one it does represent the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy here we have the Knight of Wands and as a gift and blessings uh, that's not a person these are personal gifts and blessings and uh, it points to vitalizing energy. So you're gonna feel very enthusiastic. You're gonna feel very exhilarating, uh, exhilarated as well. From what it is going on around you, you know, months of February, it does look like that everything that can go right is gonna go right for you here. And uh, from that standpoint, uh, it looks like that you are also gonna boost your confidence um, in a sense of that this is going to be a big gift for you, the confidence that is going to start residing within you, that actually you do have what it takes. That is the blessing itself and the gift that you do have what it takes to chase your dreams, to chase your goals, to make your wish coming true. But once again, this is what you, that you do have what it takes. Should you do it or rather like should you incorporate that quality here, that trait, well, that depends on you entirely. And another gift and blessing, it is the gift and blessing of a helping hand with uh, the Knights of Wands. 
it does look like that if you are struggling with certain things out of nowhere um, or people are just going to offer their help without you begging them for it and without you asking and pleasing them for it as well which is a, a big plus you know uh, these days because uh, usually people are uh, more and more people are happier and happier when other people around them are failing. That is not going to be the case with you guys. Uh, so you can expect a lot of faithful companions and faithful followers, if you will, to offer you the, um, the support you need so you can start exploring. And that is the whole point here because that card is tightly related to the seven of pentacles as there are to be a lot of enterprises that are yet to be revealed to you behind the corners of the future those people which are going to help you they are going to help you to manage your time better or to simply be more confident of taking more and more enterprises in your platter uh, in in your um yeah platter until you feel that platter or until you feel your basket with that okay so it's kind of like this is the month where you um how can i say it uh, well you you reach your potential or rather like you maximize your potential okay and you are not you are not leaving even a a gap of uh inconsistency and also a, a gap of um inactivity out there so you can expect as well to be rather quite busy but above everything else once again with those cards here taurus it is that you are going to fulfill something you have strived towards for a quite a long time so next one it is how people are going to see you and what kind of impression you are going to give into people and uh, that card is fantastic here guys so people are going to see you very happy the sun attracts so people are going to find you very very attractive people are going to see you very enthusiastic obviously very energetic because the sun is about a vital energies as well people are going to see you as someone who is determined and ready to grow which in a working environment especially could be the difference in between uh, say your boss no i'm not gonna give this person a promotion yes i'm gonna give this person a promotion because you're giving an impression that what you are showing right now it is just only a remnant of what you can actually incorporate into the company into the business or into the firm that you are working at but above everything else people will crave for your presence because this is how the sun operates uh, the sun drops a, a a portion of happiness everywhere it goes so everybody around you is going to be happy it is because you're going to be happy and through your happiness you're going to contribute for the happiness of all and uh with the sun card people are also going to cheer you out and see you moving exactly into the direction you are supposed to okay so people are going to find you very natural and what whatever unfoldment you are uh, achieving throughout the month is good they are going to see that that is your natural unfoldment just to give you an example of it say you have been promoted everybody will know and will think that you do deserve that promotion therefore there won't be any backstab there okay you start dating with a certain woman or with a certain guy everybody that you know and everybody that you know that know that boy or a girl will kind of take it that you both deserve each other so once again the sun deprives you from having enemies at least in regards to the world card to this culmination of a thing you so much crave craved for up until uh, this moment so moving to the next one here it is what is going to improve drastically your circumstances and that is oops one second guys and that is the seven of uh, wands so seven of wands here it is about resistance and in your case that is the resistance of uh, jeopardizing you know the culmination of that the world presents so take it that way you finally have a grand achievement here throughout the month of february and what you have to do with the seven of uh, wands in order to improve your circumstances is do whatever it takes as you can do it with the knight of wands that we saw to sustain it 
and to guard it from exterior influences. Now, those exterior influences are not going to be present throughout the months of February because you're pretty much safe from a, uh, enemies, you know, you're safe from uh, people that are not wishing you the good. But we don't know how it, the, uh, what is going to be the case in the month of March, for example. So you have to use that time of peace and lack of pressure upon you and your marriage, upon you and your relationship, for example, upon you and your job to sort your things through and to take such a precautionary measures that when the opposition arrives, because an opposition winning arrives, they stand no chance whatsoever to jeopardize your achievements, to jeopardize your goals, if you will, and to jeopardize you as a, an individual as well. And finally, we can relate that card as well with the Seven of Pentacles once again, uh, because the Seven of Wands is about being ready to jump into action whenever the action is needed. So whenever you find that enterprise or that enterprise present itself to you, that it is residing behind any kind of corner moving forward, you need to be ready to jump into action and the very least explore what kind of benefits can present to you moving forward into the future. So don't be shy, guys. I mean, especially if we're talking about relationship cycles here and uh, these um, opportunities residing behind corners or different people that you can date with, just don't be shy, but jump into action. See if you are, if you are compatible with this guy or with this girl and so on and so forth. So at the end of the day, you do have something that you can say it is yours. Okay, so next one, it is uh, what you can do in order to jeopardize uh, your wellness and to deteriorate your uh, circumstances. That is Tree of Wands. And Tree of Wands in this particular case stands for uh, displeasure, if I may express it that way. So you have what you have worked for or you reach that culmination and you say, no, 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 wait a minute, I can do better. OK, or I can do more. This isn't something that I am satisfied at. This is why I said into the reading before that you have to take what you can get. And at certain point, you need to draw a line and say, OK, so I kind of fulfilled my expectations. I fulfill my de destination. All right. And now it's time for me to start thinking of a new challenge. This card urges you to challenge within the existing framework. OK. And it is exactly what you should not but uh, do, but you should take what you can get with uh, with a pure intentions or as a pure coin. Say um, you start dating someone. Well, that's great. Just take that person as what that person truly is instead of keep on trying to force and improve, you know, what that person could present you. That is just for an example. OK, uh, in other words, don't push yourself more than you have to or more than you can. It is with the tree of wands here. Um, and pretty much the card points that uh, any actions that can jeopardize whatever patterns you have established with this culmination of the world card within the month of uh, February, it will uh, not just only jeopardize it, but it's going to hurt it a big, big way. And so finally, uh, we are reaching the um, guidance card here. We do have the temperance and temperance kind of touches few subjects here. First of all, uh, by kind of like accomplishing, you know, your goal here in the month of February, this goal, uh, the accomplishment of it is going to bring as well a lot of chores for you to tackle with so you can maintain it and so you can sustain it. That, that is quite understandable. You know, if your goal is uh, being married, for example, creating family uh, and you are capable to achieve that in the month of February, well, that thing brings on its own a additional chores that you have to tackle with. And that card describes those chores. But as a guidance, it does point that you're not going to find those chores so aggravating and so poignant as you have initially anticipated. Now, additionally to that, the temperance here points that whenever you are finding, you know, you're finding a challenge or a situation where you are not exactly sure how you have to act upon it or react, you know, or what kind of decision to take upon it here, uh, you always need to seek the right measures or rather like the balanced approach instead of going in extreme mode, like for example, 
a complete inactivity or overperformance. These are the extreme. You just do what you have been asked or what you are supposed to do instead of, for example, over or under cooking the situation. And finally, um, if you show compassion and solidarity to everybody around and to every situation that you are involved in throughout the month of February, Taurus, that, my friends, is going to go for a, a long, long way. So, um, that being said, this was your monthly tarot reading, February 2020, Taurus. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And um, we are going to see each other, hopefully, next time. Until then, bye.